744, welcome back to BT. This is fascinating. The idea of perfect vision without the contacts, without the glasses, but the idea of a bionic lens. Dr. Garth Webb joining us right now, optometrist and CEO of uh, Ocumetics Technology. You are saying you have created this technology, the bionic lens. Tell us what this is and how this works and how this is different from laser eye surgery that exists today. Well, first of all, what people should perhaps appreciate is that the eye matures by about age 22. So the small lens changes that uh, we'll experience from year to year that uh, can be touched up with an eye examination are al almost always related to changes of the lens that's inside the eye. So that lens, if it were replaced with uh, an inanimate object, uh, such as a, a very stable synthetic material, would no longer change at all. And we have an example, you've brought some photos of what this bionic lens looks like. Uh, take us through the sizing of this and how this differs from a contact lens and then the procedure of how this could be inserted and what the impact is on our vision. Well, what we have is uh, a lens uh, on display that is a dehydrated lens just after production. And uh, inside that lens, there is a small element of, of gaseous material and crystals. And when they are hydrated, they dissipate uh, to produce two layers, one uh, layer of gas or just air, if you will, and the other uh, a layer of pure sterile saline. So you're injecting this. How is this even put onto the eye, and how is the surgical procedure different from a PRK or LASIK surgery? It's exactly the same as cataract surgery. So the lens is removed using state-of-the-art technologies, which have improved dramatically over the years. So it's the least uh, uncomfortable procedure we know of medically. Uh, the healing time is extremely rapid and uh, a person is visually functional uh, in a very short interval of time, sometimes right after the procedure it's done itself. So very similar to what some patients may see the, that have gone through LASIK uh, mm -hmm. eye surgery. So how many years has this been in the making and what are the risks? I mean, this is brand new. You've had colleagues look at this technology. What are the risks associated with this given that it's so new? Well, the, the thing is it's not so new. Uh, the, um, the cataract uh, lenses that have been used uh, have been, uh, of course, critiqued by us doctors when we do post-operative care for 40 years. So we're always looking for a, a way, a better way of getting a, a, a more enhanced post-operative result. So um, I, in my practice, look at uh, the eyes and then potentially some of the complications that have had because of uh, induced because of cataract surgery relate mostly to dislocation of the gel and contents in behind the lens. So when I designed this lens, it was specifically to eliminate those problems first, because I wanted a lens that was more safe than anything else that had been in the marketplace, and then secondly, something that was more functional. And uh, as we've developed that pursuit, uh, we've literally now come to the point where we've been able to um, make the entire production process, the assembling, the preparing of the lens to be rolled up into a tiny little, uh, like a syringe. So the surgeon's job is really simplified. It's just simply to shoot the lens into a tiny micro incision in the eye and the incision self seals. So what needs to happen now, the future of the idea of perfect vision and how this shifts one, to get the approval, how long will that take, and then two, cost for the average person to benefit from something like this? Well, the approval process, uh, because we're using materials that have been well tested for decades, is accelerated. So for Canada, we're anticipating two years from now. and. Um, the, the, the cost uh, depends purely on the capabilities and, and the requirements of the surgeon to fund the equipment that he needs to make a, a literally perfectly tuned lens for that individual eye. We're estimating somewhere around $3,000 per eye. Uh, will likely be the, the, the range that they'll be charged. Um, the, the, the lens itself is not all that expensive, uh, so um, it, it shouldn't be much different than what laser uh, uh, the corneal surgery costs. It's, it's, it's varied greatly initially, and then as the machinery, the instrumentation all improved and became more streamlined and and more cost effective, then the price came down also. It's incredible how far it's come. Ocumetics.com is the website to find out more. Congratulations on the uh, advancements in this technology. Oh, thank you very much. Dr. Uh, Webb, right here on the couch. Check out the website to find out more information. In two years from now, this game could completely change.